as somebody who knows nothing about this movie, can you kind of sum up what it's about? So this movie is pretty much about this boy who is in this world, you know, that he was thrown into and his mom is this powerhouse manager. And he runs into this girl who's wanting to become in the same footsteps basically as this Jordan person is. He finds himself through this girl because he's wanting to kind of free himself of this world of him feeling like he's some calculated robot from other people telling him what to do. And this is a girl who wants to show her art to everybody and kind of be expressive through that. They find a little bit about themselves through each other and then kind of go on a little journey to understand, you know, where they lie and where their purpose is in this world. This role for you is a little bit different than what we're used to in Descendants. A little bit less makeup, a little less dressy. What did you like about this role? I really liked that it was a character I haven't played before. I'm pretty outgoing. Um, myself and she's sort of more of an introvert and sort of keeps to herself at school doesn't really have too many friends to hang out with which was really fun it was fun to bring that to life acting in a movie is really different than doing vine and social media what's one thing that you learned from it or that you were surprised to know it was so much fun it was such a surreal unbelievable thing that I was able to do just based on the fact that I've always wanted to do it before social media so the fact that it happened through social media was a really cool experience for me but one thing I learned the most was just how acting is really a mind game and you really just kind of have to put yourself in this person's shoes and say okay I am this person from now on I am not Matthew Espinosa I am Jordan J and it's you really kind of have to trick your mind in it. Was it weird for you to kind of be stripped down because in the first scene in the trailer at least yeah. like it doesn't look like you have any makeup on yeah. you know you're which you still look gorgeous you. but was that interesting for you? This was really nice what I find is when I have less makeup on my skin gets a break which is really nice less breakouts and stuff um, and just kind of keeping it fresh and natural is, is always nice. My god! Help! Let me in! I'm sorry? Please. In your personal life, there are fans who, some of them, you know, are fun fans where you just, you know, take a picture, but some people are a little crazy sometimes. What's proper etiquette? I guess proper etiquette would just be, you know, come up to me and say what's up. I'm this person. And, you know, they came up to me because they know who I am. So, like, obviously I'm still going to introduce myself, but when people come up to me, they're like, can I get a photo? I'm like, I'm yeah, sure. Like, of course I'll say yes, but it's like I want to have maybe like a conversation with them, know who this person is, so I don't feel like I'm just some person at a museum. Like, but I'm the museum person, they're just taking a photo. So I want to feel like I have a purpose in their life other than them showing their friends that they got a photo with this person. Yeah. What was it like when you guys were shooting? There's lots of goofing off between takes and sort of when we were doing like our behind the scenes stuff. Um, but then when it got down to business. We were serious and we always ran lines together. We all got super close. It was a very tight-knit cast, not too many cast members, so it was, it was really cool. What's something that you think people don't know about you? We'd be surprised to find out. I don't like to go out much. I know that sounds like weird, but like, I'll still hang out with friends. I love, you know, seeing friends and having a good time with them. But overall, I'm not that guy who is just like, oh, what are we doing tonight? And then the next day comes, oh, what are we doing tonight? But I'm just one of those people who's like, you know, I'm just gonna kick back tonight. I'm good, guys. Thanks, though. What was your favorite snack on set from Craft Services? I'm a big fruit snacker, so if there's ever any red grapes, that's sort of my go-to. But also, have you ever had the veggie straws? Yeah. Yeah, I love veggie straws. That's when I'm trying to keep it healthy, but when I'm not, like Kit Kat, always Kit Kat. Yeah. <laughs> they would make me peanut butter jelly sandwiches. It's kind of outside. That would be more of like a personal request. I'd be like, yo, can I get a PB&J real quick? And be like, I got you, man. What was one of your favorite scenes to shoot? I really liked our first meeting. He he, sort of like begging me for help and I, I got to drive myself myself around the whole movie, which was fun. So um, just sort of like ripping out of the gas station was was fun. Me and Matthew just went, went for a little road trip. <laughs> no, I didn't know she was a good driver. So I was like, all right, you're gonna, you're gonna whip this? You, you about to whip this vehicle to safety? And she's like, I got it. And I was like, okay, I trust you. The cafe scene, that was really fun. I get to like slide under a table all dramatically. Like, so that was pretty fun for me to do and like just be this, I don't know. I don't want to say too much of it because yeah, you, because yeah, I don't want to give it away because the movie hasn't come out yet, but it does June 10th. Be somebody in theaters on select, uh, uh, on demand, and uh, iTunes. What would be one of the biggest takeaways that you hope people take away from the movie? Having unexpected friends. I think it's important to keep an open mind. Like she, at first thought he was, she didn't want anything to do with him, um, and they end up being really close by the end of the film. So just keeping an open mind and knowing that you can really become friends with anyone.